It's Steven Scotty here, the pool repair guys. We just want to show you a quick tip on how to take the seal out of a difficult pump. Now this is just a regular booster pump. We've taken it out. Um, easier to work on here uh, so that you can see everything. First step obviously is to get the power disconnected and then remove the front bolts. All those are half inch standard. Take that out and remove the front cover. You expose the impeller. To get the impeller loose, go to the back of the pump and remove the dust cap. Quarter turn, pull it out. When that comes out, you can see the two ears that hold it in place. They fit in these two notches. Okay, once you have that out, then we need to remove the impeller. So you'll want to use a wrench. Half inch is good to hold the shaft still. Okay, and then you grab the front of the impeller. Usually it's going to be very difficult to get loose, so I get a small screwdriver and put it in the hole, and then break it loose like that. So once it's loose, it will spin very easily off, and then you can remove the seal. This is the shaft seal. You have two parts, one there, and one inside of the pump. Both have to be removed. On this pump, our four bolts are seized up. We're not able to break those loose, so I'm going to show you a different way to get them out. Uh, this one comes out very easy. Just use a screwdriver, pry the old seal out, be sure to get the rubber insert that goes with it. older the pump the harder they are to get out or if it got really hot because it ran out of water it will be hard to get out of it. For this seal since we can't get the the head bolts off for the bracket bolts to knock it out the normal way we're going to pry it out so just use a flat screwdriver stick it between the metal and the plastic and just begin to pry all the way around. And it's okay to remove this centerpiece, get it out of your way. It just kind of pops out. But you can see that this is beginning to curl up. And we just keep going. It's beginning to get loose. Just like that, we got it out without um, taking the motor apart. So you, when you replace this seal, you want to replace this rubber O-ring. This is a P40. Usually that o-ring will get dry and cracked and needs to be replaced. So that's how you get the old one out and we'll put the new one back in. 